conversation today is about state of matter. I just want you to know about it. Hey guys, I heard you already know about your mission today. I just want to wish you good luck and have a safe journey. Don't you worry, sir. We'll take care of everything. Okay then, let's move out. You must know this, guys. Everything around us is matter, like the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the soil we walk on. They are all matter. In other words, anything that has volume and mass is matter. Let me show you. We will measure the weight of this deflated balloon. The mass of this deflated balloon is 3 milligrams. Now, let's inflate the balloon by blowing some air inside the balloon and then measure it. The mass of the balloon that contains air is 5 milligrams. That means air has mass. Now, let's Put this deflated balloon inside the beaker of water. We are trying to measure its volume. Now, blow some air inside the balloon. And put it inside the beaker again. See that? This shows that air has volume and air is a form of matter. So you see... Everything is matter. This table is matter. The sofa, the television, the air around us, this jug of water. Everything is a form of matter. But all this matter does not belong to the same group. Matter can be classified or grouped into solids, liquids and gas. This diagram shows the properties of solids. They have fixed volumes, they have fixed shapes, and they have mass. This is a scale that we will use to measure the mass of these items. Eraser, 6 milligrams, pen, 4 milligrams, paper clip 1 milligram, and notebook 21 milligrams. Each of these items show that they have their own mass. This is because all solids must have mass. This eraser is a solid matter. All solids have fixed volume. If we squeeze it or force this eraser into this small box, it will not fit in because the two don't have the same volume. Even though the eraser is chopped into small pieces, the total volume will still be the same. This shows that solid volumes are fixed. marbles are an example of solid matter. Solid matter has a fixed shape. If we put these marbles into this glass container, they still keep to their sphere shape. Now put it in a bottle. The marbles are still sphere. This shows that solids have fixed shapes. diagram shows the properties of liquids. They have fixed volumes, they have no fixed shapes, and they have mass. This empty container weighs 7 grams. 
Let's pour liquid into the container. It now shows that the weight has increased to 12 grams. This shows that the mass of the liquid inside this container is 5 grams. So liquid matter has mass. Watch this experiment. We fill this syringe with liquid. Now the nozzle of this syringe is covered tightly using a finger. Try to press the plunger to compress the liquid. We cannot press it. It's not possible. Therefore, liquids have fixed volume. Try pouring liquids into all these containers. Now you see that the liquids have taken the shapes of their containers. This shows that liquids have no fixed shapes. The same result will be seen if the liquid other kinds of liquids. This diagram shows the properties of gases. They have no fixed volumes, they have no fixed shapes, but they have mass. This is an empty plastic bag and we measure its weight. The mass is 2 milligrams. Now fill this plastic bag with air and measure its weight. It's now 2.1 milligrams. The mass of the air is 0 0.1 milligrams. This shows that gases have mass. is an empty syringe. Pull the syringe plunger and you will have air trapped inside it. Now, close its nozzle with a finger and press down the plunger. You will see that the volume of air is reduced. Therefore, air does not have fixed volume. Gases are like liquids. They take the shape of the container that they are kept in. The air that is trapped in these bottles take the shape of the bottles. This shows that gases have no fixed shapes. Do you know that water is special? What makes it special? Water can change from one state of matter to another state of matter. Really? <laughs> Actually, I already know that. Water is a kind of matter that can exist in three states of matter. Solid, liquid and gas. Ice is solid matter. When it starts to melt, it becomes water. Water is a form of liquid. It has changed its state of matter from solid to liquid. Water is liquid matter. When it's heated, boiling occurs when bubbles start to appear. Water then changes to gas, which is called water vapour or steam. This process is called vaporization. Arif! Arif! Where are you? Where is Arif, Alma? What do you want? I'm in the toilet taking water for an experiment. Now I'm soaking wet. Thanks to you. <laughs> You can still do an experiment with that if you want to dry up. Sit out in the sun. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, that's it for now. We are still gathering some information for you right now. Hope you can wait for it. 